Teen does stuff and things. I'm your host, Teen Komar, and this is the show where I get to show off all my geeky, nerdy passions in full depth and describe how my stuff and things change my life and also what they mean to me. And I might do a random VHS review or even a really cool rad video game you've probably never heard of on some old system that I own because that's the kind of girl I am. Now, I'm getting a little sidetracked because you can see behind me, it's a little more bare. Than you used to because what's my show about it it's about stuff and things and i ain't got no stuff and things up i mean you can see uh kenny rogers and his wife you know hanging out in the back room and i love that photo but i decided yesterday that i needed to revamp my entire work area because some of the stuff and things kind of i fell out of love with and i want to bring out some other pieces that haven't seen the day of well light of day in a very long time and I don't know if you can see from this point of view, but I have this really super sweet vintage laser tag, L-A-Z-E-R tag uh, sheet up in the background, and it's super, super cool. So I'm just going to kind of keep this an entire mystery until I'm done, because you just never know what I'm going to bring out, and I got some really cool pieces that I think everyone's going to totally enjoy. And I'm getting way too sidetracked before I even begin. Why don't you go and check us out at anchor.fm slash Radio Free Galaxy. We have over, what, 66 different episodes in our podcast. And you can check us out on Apple, iTunes, you name it. Whatever platform you listen to a podcast on, you can totally listen to us on that. And also, check out our new YouTube podcast channel. Uh, Radio Free Galaxy is now on YouTube. It is so cool because there are hundreds of new VHS commercials from the 80s and 90s that Travis has been meticulously putting up because that is his passion. And you also can find me, Teen Komar, doing stuff and things in one of the playlists. And I can guarantee you, whatever kind of weird, nerdy thing you think, like, you know, you don't think I know about, I do. And I will be sharing them at all the times. Like, so leave a like, a share, a comment whatever but just definitely just download us a couple times and see what we got we got all kinds of like uh, local bands we have pop culture we have interesting stories and we also talk about gaming like magic from time to time you never know what you're going to find on our podcast and it's like we're all friends so there's never a right or wrong answer when you listen to us right so on to the show because uh, that was a whole lot to take in right um I decided, well, hold on, I gotta get all kinds of comfy, because as you can see, um, I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now, because in good old Wisconsin, it goes from summer to winter, just like that, and that just so happened to happen yesterday, and I'm cold, and I don't want to turn the heat on, so I decided to put on one of my vintage uh, sweatshirts, and I also put on some leggings, so I just need to get comfy real quick. Because it wouldn't be uh, Teen Does Stuff and Things if she doesn't sit like this, right? And th this is just my thing. Um, so this is kind of a personal uh, video. I probably won't put it out right away because uh, the content that's in here is meant to be a surprise for Travis and um, Adam and Trisha. This is actually for the Radio Free Galaxy podcast. And I know it is, has been a long time coming, but it is well worth the wait. Uh, Today I'm talking about the characters I made of my friends and my beloved uh, Travis Lee for the podcast. Uh, I know he's been ripping his hair out for almost a year now because I just won't show him anything and I've been telling him that, oh, I don't have anything, which I do, but I like to give artwork to him as a gift, usually on his birthday and in, his birthday is in October. So I'm going to try getting some of these videos out and like, you know, hopefully it will be up and ready to be on the YouTube podcast uh, channel as soon as uh, I give him his artwork. So cross my fingers on that. Um, what am I talking about? Well, I'm going to talk about the description of the characters, uh, what made me want to draw these characters the way they are, and why it means so much to me. Um, my friends mean the world to me. 
Uh, we have been podcasting the entire time COVID has been around, so it has been a comfort to deal with uh, every weekend, to be able to talk about our discomforts, our loves, our passions, uh, experiencing new things, or things we found to do that help us cope with what's going on in the world. I'm an artist. Um, art is a way for me to uh, express who I am and also relieve the tension and stress in my day-to-day -day life. I'm sure a lot of artists feel that way. But my art is also my greatest passion in this world and I take it very seriously. And when someone asks me to draw their characters, I I'm going to take my time on it. Like, uh, I mean, if you saw some of my artwork before uh, the podcast uh, hit up uh, back in October of last year, I was pretty much putting an artwork piece almost every single day. Um, it's been almost a year since I've really put anything out. It's because I focus so much on this uh, podcast uh, artwork. And it's weird for me because usually... Um, I describe my artwork as I'm standing in a big black room and I'm skipping stones and if the stone comes back to me that means the idea is solid and I'll go through with it. But with this project, none of the characters came to me right away, which it, it's absolutely mind boggling. Like so like, you know, I'm sitting there in my mind palace throwing rocks as fast as I can and nothing's coming back. So that meant that, you know, don't force them into existence, take your time and as of recent, um, the ideas started hitting me and I can't keep up with all the ideas that are coming out of my head, which uh, that was really common up until I tried to, I don't know, try to force everything into existence. And now it's like I am um, just about finished. I'm working on my character and the Hodeg, which uh, being part of Wisconsin, the Hodag is part of the Rhinelander lore of this big swamp cat, I guess, lurking in the shadows. We have a lot of weird uh, cryptozoological creatures in the state of Wisconsin, and the Hodag just seems very proper to be our mascot. Um, backstory, uh, Travis was born in Rhinelander, and he actually has um, the baseball cap uh, that you've seen me wear where the Hodeg is eating your face, that is like one of the representations that is out there of them. And I thought it was proper for this podcast to have that uh, character uh, be like a, um, kind of like a cat bus, but a spaceship. Because uh, we're very uh, much into sci-fi and space that if I don't have a Hodeg that flies and also accommodates as a spaceship as well, I think I would be failing pretty much everyone that would know me because I do like very out there things and this is no different. Um, so, uh, since there is four of us and, you know, like, uh, I started out with, uh, my friend Adam. Um, he loves otters. He is a huge otter fan and I don't blame him. They're cute as hell. Like I absolutely adore him. So I figured, why don't I make him a giant otter that's made out of dark matter so his uh, insides look like they're uh, moving lava, like, like in a lava lamp pieces. But I'm also like, he is super into like the Star Wars universe, like, you know, like the Mandalorian, like he likes that kind of lore. So I thought about what if I made this as like a technological space wizard? And so he'll, like, uh, my, so my general idea with him is that he's, like, this hulking 16-foot, maybe 17-foot otter in the super space armor with a cape and all that. And he, like, can do magic and stuff because we're also big D&D &D fans, so I gotta have a little bit of everything in there. And I drew him, and that, I don't know why I had such a hard time drawing an otter face. It's gotta be... I don't know why I could make stuff so complicated for myself, but I really did with him. But he turned out really, really good. And then there's Trisha. Um, Trisha is one of the coolest uh, women I have met in my entire life. And I'm not just saying that because we're friends. I think it's because um, 
she can pretty much play almost every instrument. Uh, she's in two bands right now. As a bassist and singer, like, it's totally sick. Uh, one's a punk band, one's a metal band. Like, uh, if you haven't listened to them, I should probably, I'm, I'm totally gonna tag you, Trisha, whether you like it or not. Uh, Murder Generation, um, Strangerhood just came out. If you want to check it out, I think they're on pretty much every, uh, platform for listening to music. I listen to them on Spotify. Um, we also have one of their records, which is super dope. Uh, and then Atrocity Addiction, which is their metal band. And, um, I think like, as a matter of fact, I think they're coming out with some new music very soon. So that's to be continued, but like, I absolutely love her. She could, she can do anything and she has the coolest dog ever. So her character, I decided was a space rock princess <laughs> because like, she is so cool that I can imagine her being on a planet where she's a princess, but she's a space punk princess. And, like, she has, like, this super cool um, guitar that's shaped like a pentagram, and I based it off of the Bootsy Collins uh, famous um, bass guitar, because I love Bootsy Collins, and that's the story for another day. And so, like, she's just, like, this super awesome, badass, kind of, like, pixie, uh, alien. And, uh, Luna, who is, I'm claiming, the cutest puppy of the entire universe, uh, like, she can, they both kind of hover, they have the technology to hover. And, um, her character is called the Strong Claw. Uh, and the reason is, is because, um, she loves white claws, but she likes to add vodka once in a while, so it makes it a strong claw, and I love that. Uh, just the strong claw. And um, I have it where her, uh, you can see like her arms are pink, but her body's blue. And the reason was because she thought her arms were too weak, so she got them replaced with cybernetic arms that can like go super strong. And um, she also has the power to make White Claw appear at any point in time through uh, her cybernetics because, like, if your cybernetic fingers can't make a super good drink at any point in time, then what good are they? Right? Um, and then Luna, just, she has the power of cuteness and she, like, floats around in cute little outfits and stuff with Trisha. And, um, uh, I, I think I actually forgot to mention that uh, Adam's character is called Dark Otter. I was going to call him Darth Otter, but I wasn't sure if that would get canceled because it's too close to Star Wars, but you know, I'll, I'll save that for the red tape later. Um, and my one character that I have taken a lot of pride in, and I have, I'm, I'm going to confess something with you guys. I am horrible at drawing men. Um, I've, really don't draw men as much as I did women, and that's honestly because I got bullied by male comic artists uh, when I was younger, saying that my men look too feminine, and that kind of just hurt my feelings, so I never tried. So I'm really proud of uh, the character I did for Travis. His name is The Collector because he collects cool things around the universe to build a planet made out of the things he loves. And it's a really interesting, weird story that I have for him that I'm still kind of working out. But uh, back to um, drawing him, I, I think I did a really good job on making him as masculine as possible. And it actually gave me a lot of confidence to draw more men. Uh, from this character and he is a like radio devil uh, from a faraway planet um, Like by some nebulas because like I, I really love nebulas uh, And he has the power of like technology He has these two little characters that if you see them, they're called dusties um, One's named Bip the other one is named Bop and they help him uh, like scour and scavenge and find stuff on their many adventures and put them into uh, his book bag which is like uh, I had a silly name for it but it's basically like Felix's bag where it's never and it's like the eternal bag of never ending or something and then also you can see by his feet he's always carrying the doom box yes the doom box not boom box because if you open it it is the ultimate power I'm not going to tell you what the ultimate power is because that is just going to be uh, something between me and Travis. So 
I could just keep you guys guessing on that. And uh, last but not least, um, my character is called The Talent. Uh, I think on account because I drew all of them. Feels kind of weird. I'm not, I don't feel like put myself that high, but I'll take what I can get. Um, she is also a devil, but, uh, she has like this Medusa-like hair. I'm calling a folklore hair because it's actually, uh, different dimensions in her hair. So it's kind of like portals and it kind of, it's fluid and moves so she can use it as, um, a platform to kind of like hover like the silver surfer or it'll do like simple tests and maybe grab her soda or candy or whatever thing she doesn't want to be lazy with but she um controls gremlins like space gremlins so anytime like she needs a huge horde of some type of creature to come and do her bidding she's got these cute little creatures that do them for her and they can kind of hover around and do all kinds of things, but they're kind of like, uh, they're all based off the cats that we own. Um, I have two and Adam has two and like, so like there's all these little like characteristics that I have from like, uh, my friends and myself that are going into this and it's really, really fun. Um, I know, like I said, I would have stuff done a while ago, but I think it's well worth what I've had down and um I'm just trying to think like I know I haven't done the hoe dag yet because I don't know what I want to base the hoe dag off of um I based a lot of my little creatures and stuff like I said off my cats uh the hoe dag I mean it's a swamp cat but it's gotta be fun cute scary and all the other little creeping crawlies that I can think of at the same time so that's still to be continued um I love drawing my my friends and now that like uh, I have the characters finally done I can actually do like really cool photos with them in it because I want to do a bunch of graphics but that's I need a shirt with a hoe dig and like all our characters and stuff and I think um Ooh, I really hope my friends like what I did. I hope I did them justice. I switched up my style. I tweaked everything. I took a lot of thought into what my characters and my, well, sorry, my friends would feel and think and make them into cool space aliens. Because the whole idea for the Radio Free Galaxy is that we're just uh, palling around the universe. We're all aliens and we come to earth and we all have like our personas which are us this you know we're hiding in disguise and we run like a comic book shop or a radio place and like all the weird and spectacular things that are to come like i i'm still working some of that stuff out but i really wanted to talk about the characters and why i did them and i hope that is insightful uh, when you listen to our podcast, like if you can see these characters, you know, talking, like I hope that is just one of those little cool things that like I could contribute to the podcast because this has been a dream of Travis's for a very long time and I want to do it justice. So thank you so much for sitting and listening to my tales about why I decided to draw these super cool, interesting, uh, you know, characters. And also my friends, Adam, Trisha, the love of my life, Travis, these are your characters. Build them how you want. This is like D&D. I just set up the base for them. So build your own character, have fun with them. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. And we will go from there and have a super cool, awesome time. And I cannot wait to the day that we can go on the road and people are like knowing our characters by what they look like. That is going to be an awesome day. So uh, tune in next time, folks. Uh, I have something super cool uh, that I'm going to be revealing and it rhymes with Spruce Lee. See you around, folks. <laughs>